Whew. I know most people um, on a subconscious level are looking forward to faith based on reality. Um, because um, being unfaithful sucks so bad, you know. And uh, I think we talked about it earlier, too, that, you know, selfishness uh, is the biggest problem in the world. And hate is not an issue. You know, I hate lying. I hate cheating. I hate selfishness, you know. So hate's not a horrible thing, okay. Hate is a reaction to horrible things. Hate is a reaction to selfishness. You know, like Judah Krishnamurti and those scientists talked about back in the 1980s, right? You know, and having heard all this, you as a human being, why don't you change, right? And uh, we needed some simple Simon guy to come along and, and uh, you know, just correct really bad thinking and uh, help, you know, the language correct. Judah was doing such a good job, but it was... Uh, it wasn't within, you know, we had to be a guy that was able to be one of the everyday people, you know, speak the everyday vernacular, be that type of person. And, um, uh, you know, I had a connection. I was, when I'm in the tub, I make my private blogs like to make on a Facebook and they're more for the assholes that are abusing me. And, uh, I've never seen anybody bend over backwards to try to accommodate and protect and take care of and take the people that abuse them and help them be a good person like him and not an asshole like them. I, I've never, I didn't think it was tangible to be someone like Jesus. <laughs> I didn't think it was tangible to be like me. And, uh, but the, the woman I connected to about, you know, the red azalea lady about, uh, you know, telling people about, uh, you know, uh, sexual abuse and then someone getting killed and the cops being okay with it. Cause he was like a, child molester or something, you know, like if you had a 16 year old cousin that, uh, sexually experimented with you and you told your mom and then they told the men in the family and they killed the guy, you know, that kind of stuff or, you know, those kind of things happening. Um, you know, that's, uh, something you got to work out yourself. Um, I'm tired of doing everything for you guys. You know, I'm tired of, I'm tired of cleaning up the mess. You know, we know that from what happened with Danny and Patrick with his cousin, with Danny's cousin and thing. And I didn't throw a fit, and I just asked what happened, and let's not get it okay. And we we took care of everything, and Michelle was really cool about it. And she was so happy that I was such a good person. I was looking at the pictures of me and Patrick when we were living there. I was cute. I was a cute kid. I, she was always in her in her T-shirt and her panties running around like at a dorm, you know. And you don't do that if you're not finding the guy that's in the house that's not your brother attractive, you know. If she didn't find me attractive, she would have she would have put on a a pair of long shorts, baggy shorts or something. She wouldn't have run around in her t-shirt with the panties on and do, do, do with her socks. Like she was with her brother around her brother all the time. She, she wouldn't be that way. If she saw me as, Oh my gosh, Patrick's Patrice's brother looks at me and he's stupid and he's ugly. And I think he's a pervert. She wouldn't have done that. So yeah, well you go around looking sexy. Okay. And when I'm feeling sexy, right. You don't do that around guys that you're not, wow, I'm, I'm interested. Right. The reason why it didn't work out is because she was pregnant with Demont's baby and she didn't tell me. And she was uncomfortable about that. And, uh, she's, she's, she's just a good woman, you know. All the people that make uh, soul food movies and Tyler Perry movies and stuff, they want to be like Michelle. Michelle's a real deal. She made the food. I was talking about it to the people in the tub there. You know, when she made food, uh, you know, she was in that kitchen. Every time she cooked or she was at Thanksgiving Help Patrice, she was always smiling she was always, you're going to like this, and she'd show you how it was made, and she'd tell you, you're going to like it, and you give it a try, you're going to like it. It was always that way. She was just, <laughs> she used to be my, our girl, you know. Good love. The girl gave plenty of good love and food and love and kindness and strength of protecting people from being bullied, and this girl was so smart, you can't beat her cooking. Ask us how we know. Good, we'll tell you so. She used to be our girl, you know, so... Well, guys, um, shit, I'm going to go. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. I'm going to keep working on this till I'm done and get this place cleaned up. Um, I'm going to take Jeffrey Hinton's technology and correct it because it needs a correction because the Lord's Prayer is perfect and philanthropy is genocide and murder and it sucks. And so if you're addicted to that, you, you, you need to be exposed for what you did to me and mine. And I wouldn't do that to yours and I'll protect you and yours from people like you, but you won't help me protect your children from people like you.
But I love you. I'll still keep working on it.